What's your daily drive, Jay? I mean, I know you drive everything, but what, what, do, you, what do you take to go to the grocery store? You know, I just bought a Tesla plant. Yeah, you just set a record with that. I mean, oh you, were, you were that, recorded setting a world record. That thing is unbelievable. I mean, we did one pair. I went to Formosa Drag Strip in Bakersfield, had the NHRA guys there, so it's certified. Uh, drove to the strip, lined up under the lights, air conditioner on, four door, nail it, light change green, go. And we did uh, 9.247 and 152 miles an hour. I mean, it is the fastest accelerating vehicle you can buy now. World I acceleration mean, record for a quarter mile. Yeah, um, and Remac, they're building a car, but theirs is 1.8 million or something. And that I'm not even sure if it's certified yet, but for now, the Tesla Plaid, you know, there's no maintenance. It's pretty bulletproof. You got just about a 400 mile range. It's a pretty amazing vehicle. I, 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 I'm stunned at how good it is. I mean, I love the fact that it's built in America, American labor, American technology. You know. Did Elon reach out to you after that? Well, I've known Elon a long time. He came here in 2007 with the Roadster. And right. at the time, the thinking of, golf, of electric cars, is they're just golf carts that maybe have a little more power, but this thing was fast. And he told me, he said, oh, I'm going to be build, building charging stations all around the country so you get free charging. I'm like, yeah, okay, that'll work. You know, I mean, that really is a visionary because even to this day, everybody that builds an electric car, you go, where are you going to charge it? Oh, you can charge it anywhere. Well, not really. You know, if you live in an apartment or a townhouse, you're not going to charge it anywhere. Um, you know, most people don't have the facilities to charge an electric car. I mean, I know it's a, you have to have a guy come in and set up a 220 special uh, socket and all that kind of thing for you. But, um, well, it's really no more difficult than putting a washer dryer in, but it still requires an electrician. Uh, yet he set up these charging stations as he was developing the car, having no idea whether it'd be successful or not. And uh, so it, it, it's, it's pretty amazing. When you look at, you know, it's so funny. I'm talking to the Tesla guys about their new carbon rotors for their, and I felt like my mother when she came in the garage and the guys are talking about cam timing can i get you boys a drink <laughs> no it's all ohms and amperage and volts and i'm going i have no idea but right I, those are even harder to wrench on aren't they <laughs> i know i'm but i'm trying to learn yeah. but the idea is that you have no maintenance of any i mean i had a 2015 tesla model s with the ludicrous mode never been to a dealer never had any kind of service done i had it for almost seven years amazing yeah 